linking nouns with particle NO. This is how we link two or more nouns together to show a relationship between those two nouns. And it's very similar to the English apostrophe S. Let's have a look at what we've got here. On the right hand side we have okasan or mother and on the left hand side we have sensei and we're going to link these two together to show that the okasan or the mother is of the sensei. In English we could say she is the teacher's mother. Now in Japanese instead of apostrophe s we use particle no. Sensei no okasan, the teacher's mother. You can link more than two nouns together using this system, so I've added another noun. Over here I've put my friend, tomodachi, my friend. So now we have my friend's teacher's mother. And I'm going to make that work in Japanese by adding another particle on. And that gives us tomodachi no sensei no okasan my friend's teacher's mother. Although apostrophe s is a very good way to translate particle no, it doesn't always work. So I'm going to replace friend with Japanese language. Do you remember Japanese language? Nihongo, Nihongo. It's a little unusual to write it down when all the rest is across, but actually traditionally Japanese is written down, so we'll just go with the flow. Now we've got Nihongo no sensei no okasan. If we try and use apostrophe s to translate this, it's going to sound a little funny. Nihongo, Japanese languages, teachers, mother. It doesn't really work. So you're going to have to have an alternative strategy. And that is to work from the keyword, which is the word on the right hand side, in this case mother or okasan, and then go backwards translating particle no into the English word of. And that sometimes works a little better than apostrophe s. In this case, it becomes mother of teacher of Japanese language. Now that's much clearer, isn't it? The mother of the Japanese language teacher. In Japanese, Nihongo no sensei no okasan. Now I've replaced Nihongo, Japanese language, with watashi. And that's the word for I used by girls or by people when they're being very polite. So now we've got watashi no sensei no okasan. Let's try it with apostrophe s. Watashi I. So watashi no becomes eyes. Teacher becomes teachers. And then mother is on the end. So eyes, teachers, mother. Well, you probably figured it out, but if we use the other system, it's going to be a lot easier to understand. Start with a keyword on the right, or ka san, mother. Work backwards, translating particle no as of. And we get mother of, teacher of, I. If we use me instead of I, it's even clearer. Mother of, teacher of, me. In other words, my teacher's mother. See if you can work how to say my name. Okay, let's have a look at the words that you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need the keyword, that's the one at the end of the string, and its name. So here it is down here, namae, namae. You're also going to need linking particle no, and then you're going to need the word for I. If you're a girl, that's watashi, and if you're a boy, that's boku. So the keyword name, or namae, that goes at the end of our string, and that's going to be linked with linking particle no to either watashi if you're a girl or boku if you're a boy. So if you said watashi no namae, you'd be right. And if you said boku no namae, you'd also be right. Let's try another one. Can you say teacher's name? Let's go down and find the words that we need. Well, we're going to need name, namae, we're going to need teacher, sensei, and we're going to have to link them with linking particle no. The teacher's name. 
The key word, of course, is name, so that goes at the end. Namae. It belongs to the sensei. So it's going to be joined in this way with particle no. Sensei no, namae. The teacher's apostrophe s name, or if you want to do it the other way around, the name of the teacher. Let's try one more. See if you can work out how to say my younger brother's friend. Let's have a look at the words we're going to need. Well, we'll need friend, tomodachi, and we'll also need younger brother, ototo. Now, ototo is in the humble form, so it can only be used about oneself. So it already means my younger brother, and there's no need to add any extra information. Of course, we're going to need our linking particle no, and let's see how it goes together. The key part of this phrase, of course, is friend. That's what we're talking about. That goes at the end of the series. So we're going to do the same in Japanese, tomodachi. It's my younger brother's apostrophe s friend. So younger brother will go at the beginning, and we'll link with linking particle no to give us ototo no tomodachi. Now just to check that we've got that right, we'll try the alternative way of thinking, and that is the second noun, the key noun being of the first noun. And that gives us friend of my younger brother, and that's correct, ototo no tomodachi.